Hello grade 10s and welcome to today's lesson on factorizing. In this lesson we are going to learn how to factorize trinomials. We'll join Shelley who will help us factorize the trinomial x squared plus 7x plus 12. Let's see what she has to say. The first step is you need two numbers that give a product of the constant in your trinomial. In this case, it is 12. And here, 3 and 4 give us a product of 12. The second step is that those two numbers must give a sum of the coefficient of x in your trinomial. In this case, it is positive 7. And here again, 3 and 4 give us a sum of 7. In other words, you must find a number times another number which is equal to positive 12 and those two numbers must add up to positive 7. So what are the numbers? They are positive 3 and positive 4. Remember those steps. It's an easy method in order to factorize a trinomial. Now let's do an example together. Factorize this one without a diagram. x squared plus 9x plus 14. Now, what two numbers multiplied together would give us 14? Well, they could be 1 multiplied by 14, which gives us 14, or 2 multiplied by 7, which gives us 14. But we still need one of these options to add up to give us 9. Let's see. 1 plus 14 adds up and gives us 15, that's not 9. But then we have 2 plus 7, which adds up and gives us 9. So we can see that 2 and 7 are the correct options. Now let's see how we write this. We always write down our two brackets. So we write down our two brackets. Now notice we have an x squared here. So in the first place in each bracket, we are going to write x. Now we write down our correct numbers. Remember to include the signs as well. So we have a plus 2 and a plus 7. So the factors of the expression must therefore be x plus 2 and x plus 7. Now look at this next example. Factorize x squared minus 9x plus 14. Note, this is similar to the previous example, but this time we have a minus 9x. What do we do here? Well, let's follow the same steps carefully and see. What two numbers multiplied together would give us positive 14? Well, there are a number of options. We could have positive 1 multiplied by positive 14, which would give us positive 14. But we could also have minus 1 multiplied by minus 14, because that also gives us positive 14. We could also write 2 multiplied by 7, that gives us positive 14. And in a similar way, minus 2 multiplied by minus 7 would also give us positive 14. Now, which of these options do we choose? What we need to do is add up each of the two numbers and see if we end up with a minus 9. 1 plus 14 would give us 15. Minus 1 plus minus 14 would give us minus 15. 2 plus 7 would give us 9. And let's look at this last option. Minus 2 plus minus 7 would end up giving us minus 9. So this is the correct option. So now we need to write this down. So we always write down our two brackets. And then we know we have an x squared here, so we write an x in the first place in each bracket. Now we need to write down our numbers. And remember to always include their signs. So it's minus 2 and minus 7. So the factors of our trinomial are x minus 2 and x minus 7. We are factorizing expressions involving trinomials. So let's try one more example together before we move on to the fractions. 
factorize x squared minus 5x minus 6. Now we need to think of two numbers that multiply together to give us minus 6, but those same two numbers need to add up to give us minus 5. Now let's think of the options that multiply together to give us minus 6. We could have 1 multiplied by minus 6, because that gives us minus 6, but we could have had minus 1 multiplied by positive 6, also giving us minus 6. But what about 2 multiplied by minus 3? That gives us minus 6. And in a similar way, minus 2 multiplied by 3 could also give us minus 6. Now we need to see which option is correct. Remember, those numbers need to add up to give us minus 5. Let's try. 1, and let's write it down, 1 plus minus 6 gives us minus 5. So that is the correct option. Once again, let's write it. We write down our two brackets. And then we know that an x is going to go in the first place in each bracket because here is our x squared. Now remember to include the signs and remember this is our option, so it's plus 1 minus 6. So we write plus 1 minus 6. And so our factors of this trinomial are x plus 1 and x minus 6. Shelley only did trinomials that had a coefficient of 1 in the first term. They can get a little more complicated when the coefficient is a number other than 1. So let's try some together. Factorize 6x squared plus 13x plus 2. We need to start by listing the factors of 6x squared and 2. The factors of 6x squared are 2x and 3x and 1x and 6x. The factors of 2 are 2 and 1. The way these factors are laid out helps us to find the combination that works. With trinomials, it can be a bit of a trial and error, and it's a good idea to practice as much as possible. Let's just work with the first half of the diagram for now. 2x times 1 is equals to 2x. 2 times 3x is 6x. To see if these factors work, we need to add these two products and see if they are equal to the middle term of the expression. 6x plus 2x does not equal 13x. Therefore, this combination of factors will not work. Let's try the other set of factors. 1x times 1 is 1x. 2 times 6x is 12x. 12x plus 1x is equals to 13x. This means that this combination of factors works for this expression. We write our next line of calculation using the diagram we've drawn. The terms that are in the same line are in the same bracket. This means that our answer reads into brackets 1x plus 2 into brackets 6x plus 1. If we wanted to check if the answer is right, we would multiply out the brackets using FOIL. If that is the same as the original expression, our answer is correct. Trinomials can be more complicated when there are negative numbers involved. Let's try one together. Factorize 6x squared minus x minus 2. There is no common factor in this trinomial. So let's start by listing all the factors of 6x squared and minus 2. The factors of 6x squared are 2x and 3x, 1x and 6x. The factors of minus 2 are either minus 1 and 2 or 1 and minus 2. Remember that this process is trial and error. When we work with negatives, it means that it may take a bit longer to figure out the correct factors. But if we keep trying, we will get it right. Let's start by trying the first set of factors. 2x times 2 is 4x. 
negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. Negative 3x plus 4x is equals to x. This is not the same as our middle term, negative x, but it is very similar. Why don't we try keeping the factors of 6x, but making the factors of negative 2 to be 1 and negative 2. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. 1 times 3x is 3x. 3x minus 4x is minus x. This is the same as our middle term. This means that 6x squared minus x minus 2 is equals to, into brackets, 2x plus 1, into brackets, 3x minus 2. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. You'll also be able to learn more about factorizing trinomials on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.